welcome back to Deal Unboxing and today we're going to review Camry CK10 mini PC with 11th gen Intel Core i7-11390H processor. Camry has an extensive mini PC lineup. They make great products. So in this in-depth review, we're going to go over the features, specs, some benchmarks and also do a teardown of this mini PC. So let's do a quick unboxing. In a box, we have a mini PC, a power adapter, HDMI cable, an included mini PC mount to mount the PC behind monitor or TV or on the wall, and a user manual. Now let's look at the specs. The mini PC is powered by 11th gen Intel Core i7 Tiger Lake 11390H quad core processor, 16 GB DDR4 RAM, 512 GB NVMe SSD, Intel Iris graphics, Wi Fi 6, Bluetooth, and comes with Windows 11 Pro. Now let's look at the ports. On the back of the mini PC, we have a USB 3 port, 1 gig LAN port, 2 HDMI ports with 4K resolution at 60 Hz, and a DC power connection. On the side, we have a VGA connection, and on the front, we have a 1 USB C port, USB 3 port, 1 audio jack, and a power button. Now let's do a teardown of this mini PC and see what are the upgradable options we have. You can access the motherboard by removing the four screws under the mini PC. Once you remove the back cover, you will see the back of the SATA hard drive tray with SATA connection on the motherboard. The PC comes with pre-installed M.2 512GB NVMe, but you can add additional M.2 NVMe SSD or 2.5 form factor hard drive. So in the total, you can have three drives on this PC, but it allows you to add a bigger or faster NVMe if you want to upgrade the main OS drive as well. The unit also comes with Wi-Fi 6 card, but you can also replace it with M.2 form factor Wi-Fi 6E or even Wi-Fi 7 card in the future. The unit also comes with 16 GB DDR4, 3200 MHz RAM in a single channel configuration, but there's an empty slot to add additional RAM stick to increase the total RAM, which would enable dual channel RAM configuration and will help in overall PC performance. The top of the case can also be removed by releasing the latches across the top case. By removing the top cover, you will get access to the CPU cooler, which is a laptop-based blower CPU cooler, with plenty of ventilations in the back to exhaust the hot air. Overall, great motherboard layout and well designed, and camera allows you to upgrade the PC with a lot of upgradeability options, which is a huge plus in my opinion. Now let's run some benchmarks to see how well this mini PC performs. So the mini PC has 11th gen Intel Tiger Lake Core i7 quad core processor. The processor is rated for 35 watts and 4 cores and 8 threads with a base clock speed of 3.4 GHz and a maximum clock speed of 5 GHz. Its performance is sufficient for everyday general usage, office tasks and can be used as an ultra portable mini gaming PC. In a Cinebench R23 multi-thread CPU scored 1613 points using single channel DDR configuration with 16 GB RAM stick. Then we ran the same Cinebench R23 in dual channel RAM configuration and in multi-thread CPU scored 6565 points and 1605 in a single core, which is on par with the competition in its class and on par with the 10750H 6 core chip. So the performance almost doubled with dual channel. So we highly recommend adding a second RAM stick. So the rest of the benchmarks are only using a single channel configuration since the mini PC came with a single 16 GB RAM stick. So we want to show the default mini PC results. Next in the pass mark, unit scored 3136 total points and CPU scored 12740 points. And in 2D mark, it scores 263 points and 3D mark, we achieved 2272 score and memory we achieved 2,295 points and the disk achieved 15,567 points, which is again good for its category. Next in the CPU-Z benchmark, CPU scored 3,035 points in multi-thread and 656 points in single thread, which is on par with its AMD or Intel counterparts in its category. Next in Geek benchmark 6 CPU benchmark, CPU scored 2,149 points in a single core and 5,027 points in multi-core. Again, a good score for its category. In Geekbench 6 GPU benchmark, GPU scored 9,699 points, which is also good and allows you to play a lot of multiplayer games. Moving on to our stress test, the mini PC stayed exceptionally cool. The temperature never crossed 90 degrees Celsius during our CPU-Z stress test for 30 minutes. But you can hear the fan under stress test, but it is normal for mini PC. But the good result is CPU cooling is sufficient enough to keep the temperature under control. 
Moving on to the storage solution, Mini PC offers good read and write rates that is average in its class. Our unit scored 2310 megabytes per second read and 1676 megabytes per second write in SSD benchmark. But as mentioned before, you have an option to upgrade to bigger or faster M.2 NVMe SSDs, but these scores are good and plenty fast for any general usage. The Mini PC is powered by Intel Iris graphics but it is good for popular multiplayer titles like Fortnite, Overwatch or Rocket League at low settings without any problem. Now let's go through the mini PC BIOS settings quickly to check out the available options. On the main BIOS page, you see the processor information, memory information, confirming a total amount of RAM and its speed. Then under CPU configuration, there are plenty of advanced features to choose and it helps advanced users to configure the settings. But I will leave everything to default unless you know what to configure because any wrong settings can damage your PC, so be careful. Then in the power and performance configuration, we have options like CPU power management control and GT power management control. Under CPU power management, we have ton of advanced settings, which are great for advanced users. Not many PC manufacturers in the market provide these level of advanced settings. But again, I will leave everything to default because most of the settings are configured toward performance. There are also overclocking options, which are disabled by default, but you can leave it enabled if you want to experiment with these settings. Mini PC also has a TPM2 module. It can be used for hard drive encryption like Microsoft BitLocker to secure your data. So out of the box, you will benefit from full CPU performance. CPU turbo mode is enabled and boost performance mode is set to maximum performance. The CPU also supports Intel virtualization technology and it is enabled in the BIOS. There are plenty of BIOS settings to configure, but you can leave everything to default because out of the box mini PC has configured the BIOS towards the maximum performance. So great job by Camroy. The size of the PC is small, mirroring 5.5 inch by 5.5 inch by 1.89 inch. It can easily fit in your pocket and allows you to place it directly on your desk, living room, or even mount behind the monitor with the included mounting plate. Let's do the final summary. Overall, Camera Mini PC performed very good in this review. The good overall construction and strong technical features and option to upgrade all of the components are the big plus point. We highly recommend adding a second RAM stick to benefit from a dual channel RAM configuration, which will boost performance a lot. The standard feature of the mini PC is the ability to run three displays at the same time using VGA and two HDMI ports. Each HDMI port can support resolution up to 4K at 60Hz. The mini PC also delivers great everyday general PC performance, multitasking and more. Intel Tiger Lake is a great CPU with only 35 watts of power requirement and better performance over its previous generation CPUs is a big plus point. Let me know what you guys think of the mini PC review in the comments below. If you like this video, please sub to the channel, hit the like button and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.